Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Shobhi Madayo, again here with another informative video related to the electrical machines and the MATLAB simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the experiment regarding the DC shunt moon motor on the MATLAB software. So before doing this experiment, let us discuss some few points regarding the DC shunt moon motor. So the DC shunt moon motor can be defined as in which the field winding is connected in parallel with the armature winding. The current in the shunt field winding is not same as the armature current in the shunt winding designed to produce the necessary MMF by means of the large number of the turns of the wire having the high resistance. Therefore, the shunt field current is relatively small compared with the armature current. So, in the case of the DC shunt bone motor, the line current is equal to the armature current plus shunt field current. So, if we want to calculate the power drawn from the main supply, in the case of the DC shunt bone motor, so it is the product of the supply voltage multiplied by the line current. So, dear viewers, without wasting time, let us do the experiment regarding the DC shunt bone motor on the MATLAB software. So, dear viewers, our main objective of this experiment is to implement the circuit diagram of the DC shunt bone motor on the MATLAB software. So the DC shunt bone motor can be defined as in which the field winding is connected and parallel with the armature winding. The current in the shunt field winding is not same as that of the armature current in the shunt field winding designed to produce the necessary MMF by means of large number of the turns of a wire having the high resistance. Therefore, the shunt field current is relatively small compared with that of this armature current. So here in the case of the DC shunt wound motor, the line current is equal to the sum of the armature current plus shunt field current and the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the DC shunt wound motor is the product of the supply voltage multiplied by the line current. So dear viewers, we have to implement the circuit diagram of the DC shunt wound motor on the MATLAB software, go to the power library. We need DC voltage source. We need DC machine. We need current measurement block. We need voltage measurement block. We need ground. Go to the library browser. We need bus selector, we need constant block, we need gain block and we need uh, product block, go to the sinks, we need the display block. So here we are doing the experiment of the DC shunt wound motor and its function is to convert the DC electrical power into the mechanical power. So first of all, we need to connect the DC voltage source with the armature winding of the DC shunt wound motor. So here in the case of the DC shunt wound motor, the line current is equal to the sum of the armature current plus shunt field current. So if we want to measure the line current in the case of the DC shunt wound motor, so we need to connect the emitter in series with the DC voltage source and the armature winding. So the function of this emitter will give us the value of the line current. So connect the DC voltage source in series with the emitter and this will be connected in series with the armature winding. So connect the negative terminal of the armature winding with the negative terminal of the DC voltage supply and connect the ground with the negative terminal of the DC voltage source. So here, this is the DC shunt wound motor. So connect the field winding in parallel with the armature winding. So this will be called as the DC shunt wound motor. So here, this emitter will give us the value of the line current in the case of the DC shunt wound motor. So connect this emitter with this display. So this display will give us the value of the line current in the case of the DC shunt wound motor. I L. So if you want to measure the supply voltage in the case of the DC shunt wound motor, so connect this voltmeter in parallel with the supply voltage. So this voltmeter would give us the value of the supply voltage in the case of the DC shunt wound motor. So connect this voltmeter with this display. 
and this display will give us the value of the supply voltage in volts in the case of the DC shunt wound motor. So we are doing the experiment of the DC shunt wound motor. So go to the DC machine properties. So we are selecting the mechanical input as a torque load. So apply. Okay. So connect the measurement port of the DC shunt wound motor with the bus selector. Go to the bus selector properties. Select the speed WM radian per second. Select the armature current. Select the field current. Apply. Okay. So from the output of this bus selector, we are getting the speed as a mechanical power output in the case of the DC shunt wound motor in terms of the radian per second. So if we want to convert the speed from the radian per second into the revolution per minute. So the function of this gain block is to convert the speed from the radian per second into the revolution per minute. And this display will give us the value of the speed in terms of the RPM in the case of the DC shunt wound motor. And this display will give us the value of the armature current in the case of the DC shunt wound motor IA. And this display will give us the value of the field current in the case of the DC shunt wound motor IF. So if we want to measure the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the DC shunt wound motor. So formula for calculating the power drawn from main supply is the product of the supply voltage multiplied by the line current. So here the function of this product block is to give us the value of the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the DC shunt wound motor. So connect the first input of this product block with this voltmeter. So this voltmeter will give us the value of the supply voltage. So connect the second input of this product block with this emitter. So this emitter will give us the value of the line current. So again the formula for calculating the power drawn from the main supply is the product of this supply voltage multiplied by the line current. And here as we know that in the case of the DC shunt wound motor the line current is equal to the sum of this armature current plus field current. And this display will give us the value of the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the DC shunt wound motor. So we are given the 240 volts to the armature winding of the DC shunt wound motor. And we are given the load torque 10 Newton meter. So here we are doing the experiment of the DC shunt wound motor and from the output of this bus selector we are getting the speed as a mechanical power output in terms of the radian per second. So if we want to convert the speed from the radian per second into the revolution per minute. So if the function of this gain block is to convert the speed from the RPS into the RPM. So as we know one RPS is equal to the 9.55 revolution per minute apply ok go to the properties of the DC machine go to the parameters here the value of the armature resistance is 0 0.78 ohm and the armature inductance is 0 0.016 henry the field resistance is 150 ohm and the field inductance is 112.5 henry field armature mutual inductance value is 1.5 total inertia is 0.05 Viscous friction 0 0.01 and initial speed 1 and the initial field current 1. Okay. So now our circuit is ready for the simulation. Run the simulation and observe the results of the different parameters like the speed in terms of the RPM, the armature current, the field current, the supply voltage, the line current and the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the DC shunt wound motor. Run the simulation. So here we are getting the speed in terms of the RPM from the output of this bus selector in the case of the DC shunt wound motor is 1082 RPM and the armature current in terms of the ampere is 4.897 ampere and the field current in terms of the ampere is 1.6 ampere and this is the value of the supply voltage which is 240 volts and this is the value of the line current which is 6.497 ampere in the case of the decision wound motor. 
so again if we want to calculate the value of this line current with the help of this calculator so here the line current is the sum of this armature current plus field current so here armature current is 4.897 ampere plus field current is 1.6 ampere and again we are getting the same value of the line current which is 6.497 ampere so this is the value of the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the dc shunt motor is 1559 watts so if we want to calculate the value of the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the dc shunt motor with the help of this calculator formula for calculating the power drawn from the main supply is the product of this supply voltage multiplied by this line current so here the supply voltage is 240 volts okay and here the line current is 6.497 ampere so again we are getting the same power 1559 watts so dear viewers this was the simulation regarding the decision mode motor that we have done on the MATLAB software so dear viewers this was the experiment regarding the DC shunt mode motor that we have done on the MATLAB software in which we have observed the results of the different parameters like the armature current, the shunt field current, the line current and the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the DC shunt mode motor. So I hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment. So at the last do subscribe my YouTube channel Shoebe Madayo for more informative videos related to the electrical machines, electrical engineering and the MATLAB simulation. Thank you.